Shaders is by far one of the most popular Minecraft mods out there, and in this video, we're going to show you how to get it in the newest version of Minecraft, 1.20.1. We're going to cover truly everything from downloading and installing Optivine, which is required to get shaders, to getting shaders packs, which you can think of like resource packs, but each shaders pack gives you different lighting and different customizations in regards to your shading in Minecraft. And we're even going to show you how to change your shader settings in order to get the most out of customizing your shaders and making them your own. Now, first things first, we will need to download a shaders pack. You can download multiple, and we're going to download multiple actually in this video, but you need at least one. And like I said, these are resource packs but for shaders. So they control different parts of lighting, and you can see the difference here. BSL shaders looks like this, Makeup Ultra Fast looks like this, and then you have another one here, which is Dr. Destin shaders, which looks like this. So all of these have their own different unique styles, and something that's worth noting about shaders versus other sort of resource packs and mods is shaders actually can work for multiple versions. It's not uncommon for 1.16, yes, yeah, so Minecraft 1.16 shaders to work in Minecraft 1.20 without any issues whatsoever. So we're going to get a high FPS shaders here, which Vanilla Plus is one of them. We're also going to grab Makeup Ultra Fast because that's one of my personal favorite shaders packs, and we'll even go ahead and grab BSL shaders because that's a great one as well. So BSL shaders is a bit different. When you click the download button on our site, it will take you here where you'll need to select BSL shaders and then click download. And then finally, you scroll down and click download via CurseForge or Moderinth, whichever one you want to do there. While this is downloading, though, have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below. The breakdown.xyz slash SGH to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. At Simple Game Hosting, you can get one-click installation of mod packs. You can install mods, plugins, and customize your server however you want it. And should you have any issues, we have amazing live chat support and a high quality help center with text tutorials, videos, and everything else you need to help get your server exactly how you want it. So stop struggling to make a server for you and your friends. Come check out Simple Game Host to get the first link in the description down below the breakdown at xyz slash sgh to make your server the simple and easy way. Again, that's the breakdown at xyz slash sgh. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and now that we've got this downloaded, download Vanilla Plus Shaders. This is on CurseForge directly, so it is worth noting that you'll want to go to Files, find the newest version. It might be 1.20.1, it might be 1.20, it might be 1.16. Like I said, shaders are a bit weird. Click the three dots on the right hand side and click Download File. The same can be done for Makeup Ultra Fast here, but again, it might not be 1.20.1, it might be an older version, and then click Download File. Once these are downloaded, we can then move on to getting Optifine. Optifine is obviously required because it's basically the mod loader in a weird way that allows you to use shaders. So without Optifine, you can't really add shaders. There are other shaders out there like Iris shaders. Those are great. And we have videos on those, but for this video, we're using Optifine. So you can find a link in the description down below that will take you here. This is our complete guide to getting Optifine and this covers everything. We even have a section on shaders in here. So keep that in mind. It's all here, but we also are going to show you everything in the video tutorial. So it's kind of up to you in whichever style you prefer. If you prefer text or video. Once you're here though, go ahead and click on the yellow download Optifine button to go to Optifine's official download page. At the time I'm recording this video, Optifine's still in beta, in preview. So that's why you don't see a version directly under Minecraft 1.20.1. If you do, that's a good thing, right? That's a great thing. It'll look very similar to the preview version, which we can access by clicking the plus preview versions here. So that's what you want to do. Click press preview versions, unless there's already a version listed. If there is, it will look very similar to this right here. And once you've found it, go ahead and click the mirror link next to it. You always want to download the version that's closest to the top because that's the newest one. That takes you to the official 1.20.1 download page for Optifine, or you just want to click on this purple download button. That will start downloading Optifine right away. You may need to keep or save Optifine depending on your browser. It's perfectly normal as long as Optifine is in the title. It is 100% safe to do that. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. Let's move Optifine and all of our shader packs to the desktop. These can be most likely found in your downloads folder. So go ahead and open up the start menu, search for downloads, open it up, and here we have preview. Optifine, Shaders and shaders right there. So all of these are shaders and then this is Optifine. Let's move these to our desktop. Now with all these on our desktop, we're actually going to be starting off with Optifine here. So go ahead and right click on Optifine, click on open with, click Java and click OK. That is unless you don't have Java. And if you don't have Java, what you want to do is you want to go to the description down below and go here. This is Java 17 and Java 17 is required for Minecraft mods like Optifine, like shaders. So that's why Java 17 is here. And this of course covers everything you need to know in video and text format. Now for some people, you're going to need to run the jar fix as well. And the jar fix is going to take and link all the jar files on your computer back to Java, making them work happily together. 
Once you've done that though, you will be able to right click on Optifine, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. And that'll open up the Optifine installer. Now at this point, it is worth noting, you want to make sure that both Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are closed. Otherwise, Optifine will not install correctly. Once you've done that though, let's go ahead and click Install. And boom, Optifine will come up and say this, Optifine is successfully installed unless it doesn't. And the only reason it wouldn't is if you've never played Minecraft 1.20.1 before. If that's the case, go play that version, just open it up from the Minecraft launcher, latest release, and as soon as you get to the main menu, close out of it. Then reopen up the Optifine installer, click that install button, and this will work. Click OK and Optifine will close, and then we can delete Optifine from our desktop. Let's get all these awesome shaders packs installed. To do that, we want to open up Minecraft with Optifine. So, from the Minecraft launcher here, you'll most likely have an Optifine profile already. I will, but if you don't, I'll show you how to fix it and how to get one no matter what. But if you do have the Optifine profile, you can go ahead and select that. As you can see, ours is automatically selected. You may have to click the drop down box to select it. Confirm it is 1.20.1, which ours is, and then click play and click play again. If you don't have this though, if you do, just skip forward in the tutorial a little bit. But if you don't have this, go ahead and click on installations at the top. Then you want to make sure mod is selected. As you can see, you deselect modded. It's not there. You check modded. There it is. Optifine 1.20.1 dash Optifine. But if you still don't have it, click new installations. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it Simple Game Hosting because that is the best way to start your very own Minecraft server. And then we want to come under the version drop down box here and we want to select release 1.20.1 dash Optifine. Once you've done that, you're done. I'm going to change my resolution so you can see once we get in game, but that's the only reason. Go ahead and click create. And now we have this new simplegamehosting.com profile with 1.20.1 dash Optifine. Hover over it, click play, click play again, and now Minecraft will open up with Optifine installed. From this point, it's super easy to get shaders. The hardest part of getting shaders is actually getting Optifine. Once you've got Optifine, getting your shaders packs installed is as easy as drag and drop. So from here, we want to go ahead and click on Options, and then we want to click Video Settings, and then Shaders. I'll do that one more time because it was a little fast. From the Minecraft main menu, select Options, Video Settings, Shaders. This is your Shaders menu and where all of your shaders can be handled. From here, click on the Shaders folder button in the bottom left, and that's going to open up Shaders Packs, the Shaders Packs folder. Just drag and drop any shader packs you want to install right into this folder, right like so. This works for these three, but it should work for any shaders pack you download. Now when we come back to Minecraft, here they all are. BSL Shaders, Mega Vulture Fast, and Vanilla Plus. To enable one, just click on it. That's it. It's that simple. Minecraft will reload. It is now loaded. Click done, done, and we can go check out these shaders on a simple game hosting server. So once we're here, you can see shaders are obviously active. Um, let's run up top as well. By the way, the FOV that I have is very zoomed in and it looks amazing for shader screenshots. It can be bad for playing, but if we run up here to the top, you'll see in these buildings, look at this. I mean, it's just, it kind of makes Minecraft feel more real with shaders on. We can even set the time to day here and really get the full effect. What about if you want to change your shaders though? Well, you can do this right in game. Just hit escape, options, video settings, and shaders. Then you can select a new shaders pack right in game. I also promised we would show you how to change your shader settings. Well, you can do that by clicking shader options in the bottom right. That's going to open up all of your shader options. And what's really, really cool is every shader pack is a bit different. Meaning every shaders pack is going to have different settings in here. And some will even have this, which is different profiles that you can set. For example, weird, but we can do shadow lists with this. So that means all of the shading and shadows in the background, they're gone now. All that's happening is the waving of the leaves. Now, if you ask me, it's kind of pointless because, uh, well, shaders are about shadows. So we want to come back in here and change that back on, obviously. But that's how much variation and difference you can do with your shaders packs. You can turn off waving plants, all that stuff. And Mega Vulture Fast is a great example for this because it's very easy to understand and has a lot of different options, including advanced options where you can really get deep down into the different shadows and, and different things that you can do. But nevertheless, with that, let's go ahead and check out the last shaders pack we installed, Vanilla Plus Shaders. You'll kind of be hard to see this one's installed, but you can see there is shading there that's not normally there in Vanilla. You can also see the waving here, but this is a very lightweight shaders pack, and for that reason, we're getting decent FPS with it. Nevertheless, if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, but you now know how to download and install shaders, how to set your shaders options, and everything else for shaders in Minecraft 1.20.1. My name is Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.